Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Deer Talk Now. Thanks for joining us. The question today is, it's a common one that we get here at Deer and Deer Hunting, where should I put my mineral site for deer on my property and how should I do it? And that's a great question. We get this from Facebook all the time. And you know, mineral usage has really taken off in the last, say, 10 years with landowners because they want to provide their whitetails with better nutrition and that's for good reason. You know, deer will get the minerals they need from the natural vegetation, the browse and the farm crops and the food plots that they eat, but you can give them that little boost and make them even healthier where legal where you can put out supplemental mineral. You know, there are different types of minerals you can use. You can use the blocks, you can use the powder that you pour in the ground. There's actually liquid that's pre-mixed, real easy to use. What you want is you want to put that mineral near a water source wherever possible. A creek or a pond is a really good place to start because deer will not absorb that mineral until they have something to drink and then while they're eating it. It's just like if you take a daily vitamin, same thing. You know, you take a daily vitamin, you're going to want to drink some water and you're going to want to take it with a meal. And with deer where you have a water source, normally there's a food source nearby. It just makes things a lot easier for deer to absorb that mineral when you're doing that. So what are some of the other things you should think about when putting out mineral? Well, you should think about how deer feel securely. You know, you could put that mineral near the closest water source, but maybe that's in the wide open. Not such a good idea. You know, a well-used deer trail coming out of some cover, maybe a uh, logged over area, maybe a pine thicket, somewhere where deer feel safe. They're going to come in there, they're going to utilize that mineral more frequently, and they're going to get maximum benefit out of it. Okay, so to recap, what you want to do is you want to put that mineral near a water source where possible. You want to have it near security cover. That's key. And you want to have it in an area where deer are already frequent. You don't want to make them go out of their way to get there. So if it's near a nice used deer trail going into a bedding area, that's perfect. You know, keep these things in mind when creating a mineral site and also be sure to check your state regulations because some states do not allow mineral usage and you don't want to do that. Till next time, I'm Dan Schmidt. Thanks for joining us. If you want to watch all the deer talks, go to DeerAndDeerHunting.com. Check out the Deer Talk page. You can watch all the videos right there. Today's Deer Talk product of the day is the new Vision 8 Lights Out camera from Wild Game Innovations. Another neat little camera from Wild Game. This one is an 8 megapixel camera. It's really nice. Half second trigger on it. All sorts of bells and whistles features on it and a really cool opening uh, door here. It's got a little, um, little spot where you can lock this camera shut also with a cable lock on it. Really easy to use. Pop your SD card in there, program it, set it up and you're ready to go. You can get images. We've actually been using this for about two weeks now. We got great uh, photos, video, everything off of this little camera and we're just setting it up off of our, our clover plot here to see what we got coming through. I know we have deer and turkeys and some of these bucks are already showing uh, growth on their antlers. So what we're doing with this camera, it only retails for $119.99. That's the Vision 8 lights out from Wild Game. This is nice. It takes up to a 32 gig card so you can just fill that thing with photos or video. Check them out today, wildgameinnovations.com.